Hello, welcome back to another dish of Carrie's gardening channel. So, um, these are uh, some rose bushes here that uh, we have growing in the greenhouse. And uh, these were actually overwintered. This is their second year growing in this greenhouse. Now, this greenhouse is heated. So, um, we want our lights for 12 to 14 hours a day. And uh, you can see here, they look beautiful, really nice, healthy growth on them. Now, um, a few things that you want to watch out for when you're growing rose bushes in a greenhouse is you want to watch out for white flies, which we're using yellow sticky traps to control them. And I'll have a link down in the description for uh, sticky traps that we use. And um, you also want to look out for aphids. And you want to make sure that you don't let your soil get too dry where you develop an issue with spider mites. And uh, spider mites will have all kind of webbing and stuff on there. But um, you can see here how nice these look. We did have a problem with spider mites earlier. Yeah, we did. Fall. And white flies. <laughs> yeah. So any bad canes that are in there, you want to go ahead and take a clean, sterile pair of pruners and cut that out. Just take uh, alcohol over your pruners, let it dry before you uh, start cutting your plants. And go ahead. And um, yeah, there's uh, some white flies. flies. Yep. Try and get them off of there. And go ahead to sterilize your pruners. Take uh, some alcohol. Clean your pruners with them. Let them dry before you make all of your... Um, cuts on your plants and that'll help prevent any spread of viruses and plant diseases. I was wondering where they were coming from. I found it. Yeah, we'll have to put a sticky trap up there. <laughs> yeah, we got quite a bit of sticky traps, but um just ordered three hundred or nine hundred more. Or ninety more. Ninety more sticky traps? Okay. So uh, you want to keep your soil on your roses moist but you don't want it soggy. And uh, they do benefit from additional lighting, especially in the wintertime. These will flower in the wintertime, your roses will, if you get your lighting right. And um, you do want to feed them. They do benefit from uh, your uh, plant foods. We're feeding these with the Algo Plus um, all-purpose plant food. And I'll put a link down in the description for that. That's something I started playing with last year. Um, I did a lot of research on it, and I went ahead and bought some of it and started experimenting with it. And uh, it does do very well for some plants. And uh, the roses are one that really seem to like that plant food. And uh, they also respond to uh, the Algo Plus flower uh, bloom fertilizer, too. Nice about this is cold right now, and they can't fly too quick. So we can get them. Yeah, this is a cooler greenhouse here. It is heated. But um, it is a cooler greenhouse. Well, 19 degrees, so outside. You can see um, the white flies on there, and then you can see the white fly little nymphs in the back. So um, we are going to be spraying these with uh, neem oil along with uh, having our sticky traps up. And um, because it's cooler in this greenhouse, the white flies really aren't too active. So it's a great time to um, go ahead and get these uh, you know, taken care of and get them dealt with because we don't want them going to our other stuff and causing any problems. They were brilliant. So these here are planted in miracle Grow all-purpose potting mix. And um, that's the uh, soil that they're growing in there. So, um, um, the middle one here, we're going to get this one here watered. And, uh, when it got real cold out and real cold in the greenhouse, um, our water wand actually cracked because it froze. Uh, even though the greenhouse is heated, it still cracked the thing and froze it because that's how cold it got. So we compromised. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this one here registered dry on our moisture meter, and I'll put a link down in the description for the moisture meter that we have. And
then um, moisture meters do take a little bit of time to register. So it's not like an instant thing. You want to give it a little bit of time to go ahead and actually register the moisture content of your soil. But um, if you're dealing with uh, white flies, definitely sticky traps work. Um, another thing that we did is we were using a uh, vacuum cleaner. And uh, we were using those to uh, try and vacuum the white flies as they were flying. Um, this is one of the sticky traps from the greenhouse. You can see all the white flies on it and all different kinds of stuff. Sometimes you will accidentally get a beneficial bug on there. But, um, you know, you probably got over a hundred white flies on there easily. I just wanted to give you this quick video here on growing roses in your greenhouse as a greenhouse crop. What to look out for and a little bit of how to take care of them. Like I said, I am getting new lighting in here. Um, right now the LED lights are on, but um, we have the Shanghai LED grow light. That uh, we have temporarily turned off because we're in here working. I did order more of those and I will put those down in the description. I've been using those for many, many years now. Um, that's something that uh, I have found works very well for my plants. And I'm slowly um, transitioning from my regular LED lights to the uh, LED grow lights. And I'll have a link down in the description for... Um, the lights that I'm going to be replacing my other ones with. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button that ties up put new video on. Also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye!